the AT&T L, well the carrier thing, but it's the LG Grill telephone or cell phone and what we're doing is we're testing the three D's. Now one of the things that you might notice is the three D happens to be, well, pointing the other direction. So even though you can turn the camera around, you don't exactly turn the three D around. If you turn it around, you'll get two D, not three D. Yeah. Now here's some of the really cool parts about this three D. Yeah, guys. Oh yeah, we're out here just having fun. But the cool part about this is there is a light. There is a zoom. But we're discovering a couple things. If you're in 2D, you can zoom and you can use the light. If you're in 3D, you can't either. It seems to me when you put it in 3D versus 2D, the camera um, comes in just a little bit so it's not as wide of an angle. Yeah. Well, you can uh, set it up for center focus or border focus. What's the other one? The center focus is if you go in oh. and the border focus is if you want it to be Both wider. Now. Yeah. I have my, we, I, I think ours are set on center focus, so. Yeah, some of the things that we're finding out are really important. Many of you guys already know that when you're taking pictures or video, you can ask it to save to the cell phone or save to an SD card. Save it to the SD card, folks. It will eat up your thing. We also found out that that the uh, HDMI cables that come with it don't really work. So I you're, tried my HDMI. You have. I ha I've, I've used... Uh, Five different HDMI cables, and not a one of them will register the drive unit uh, on it. So, oh, yeah, because one of the things that we were testing, uh, although you're supposed to be able to move from one to the other, I haven't tried it on my laptop um, or my desktop, although I guess you can try it with my Bluetooth. Yeah, but the problem is, is that not all computers have Bluetooth capabilities, only the higher end ones. So, so one of the things is you can either A, take the SD card out to transfer it, be unmounted first, folks. Oh, yeah, that's kind of important. Or you can plug the cable into the cell phone. Now, part of it is, is old Cam was trying to do it. He thought it didn't work at all. When I happen to have a cable from my Motorola Zoom. Yeah, but it's a data cable versus the cable that comes with it that basically plugs into the power source. Yeah, actually most people don't know that because we remember you tried all those cables and you're like, it's not working. Well, yeah, it is. No. And so I happen to pull a cable that works, whereas none of the other cables that are working. Yeah, because I mean, and then because it's the only cable we have, she has to have it back for that for the Motorola Zoom. <laughs> With my but we need to go and pick up another cable. I mean, I got one cable left that I can try, but that's about it. Otherwise, we are going to have to pick up another cable because yeah, we, got, we have three devices that need to be able to get it off of. But, you know, like uh, as soon as the plane goes by, I'll make it very okay, important again. Do not mess with your uh, chips in this thing without unmounting them first. They can remove all the information on your chip if you take the chip out without unmounting it. See, one of the other things, one of it, I can't even see the screen right now. Yeah, well, I can, barely. Yeah, I feel like that. It's just at the position. She's in direct sun. I've got the sun oh, at my back. Oh, I changed. I don't know what I did. Okay, you weren't on? Well, I don't know what I was, I was on at the beginning, somehow I turned it off. Or maybe it turned off after so long, I don't know. Well, at least we got this one that was on, so. <laughs> okay, so part of it is you're seeing two of us, we were using, utilizing two cell phones. Yeah. So some of those little errors you think you're doing. Yeah, well, she has a problem. She turns off the equipment when it needs to be on and she turns it on keeps leaves it on when it should be off so you've just seen the uh i know so i don't know we'll have this one is running i don't know how the sound's going to be off of her side we'll find that out Yeah, and the airplanes are flying over. See, this is, this is. This is a field test. Yeah, the first field test was done over at um, 
the Orange County Auto Show, which we discovered there's a, a, a basic problem with, okay, why they say the 3D isn't as good is because there's a problem. You have to hold the camera out X amount of distance from your face in order to get the 3D effect. Right. Otherwise, it basically sort of looks like a blurred. Second, I was shooting pictures and I didn't change the setting to macro. Uh -huh. So my pictures are basically like a posty stamp size. Well, see, I didn't realize they changed it either. Yeah. They're really great looking pictures, but they're, you know, they're smaller than thumbnails. Well, also, one of the things we're discovering is you can take 2D video and make it look like 3D on here. Yeah, it and will. You, and you can take 3D video and then make it look like it's 3D. It's 3D. And, and uh, what happens if you take a 3D video, it it, dub, it basically makes it into a side-by-side -side picture. Oh, is that what happens? Yeah. Which actually is another form of 3D. Yeah. But uh, what happens is the software inside this thing that is turning everything into 3D. So you could basically probably rent, a, from what I, I mean, we've put a 2D on it to see what would happen. We actually, we've got two 2Ds, one that is just a straight 2D, and the other was a 2D that, in, that was doing 3D on. And it, it uh, you know, it, it, you can turn a, a, 2D, a 2D into a 3D and a 3D into a 2D. It can be done, but it doesn't. The 3D looks good, the 2D... The 3D looks awfully good, and the 2D looks pretty good, too. Yeah. Oh, one of the things I discovered is when you utilize the camera, if it's on 3D, actually, I'm kind of You can send, you can email it, right? You have yeah. the choice of emailing it as a 2D or a 3D picture. Yeah. Now, one of the things I haven't tried in reverse was to take a 2D picture and see if you could email it as a 3D. I think you You probably can. But I think if you shoot a 3D picture and try to email it as a 2D picture, I mean, you get a double-sided picture, I think. Yeah, so actually we're going to have to test that just to see what actually happens on those pictures. Yeah, so that will come in our next thing. But this is basically, you're getting an idea, yet this is not a spring chick right there. And old cam on this side. So this yeah. is our our field test of the uh, LG Thrill cam, uh, 3D use of the camera. Hello, this is not a spring chick to bikini tower. We are testing today the LG Thrill. Um, in, are we on 3D? Yeah. We're doing 3D. We're, doing 3D. we're out at the beach here in sunny Southern California. And there's a couple things we're testing. Is number one is sound. Number two is the picture quality. Oh, 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 oh. 
Okay. So anyway, this concludes the Bikini Tar Test of Down at the Beach on the LG Trail with AT.